I don't know. Um, I'll challenge you. How's that? Okay. I think whoever gets challenged gets to do the coin flip. Oh, okay. Which makes me think we should actually, like... I don't know. Uh, do think... it. it. Like, it should be in the, you know, league rules or something. Yeah, something... Because it's already written up as, uh, like, who's home and who's away. Yeah. Well, no, it we isn't. just need to clarify. It's not, it's not written up who's home and who's away. Oh, it's not? Okay. No. But if we did that, then, then it would denote who challenges who... Totally. Which might be good. Because I remember last year it was all, it all either said versus or at. Right. Um, which, yeah, so then the person who's away is the one who's challenging or. Oh, did it say oh. versus or at? Yeah, last year that was how it was all set up. I'm not sure. I don't think that's what it says this year. All right. Well, I don't have enough money for a halfling master chef. Um, I did get rid of my, uh, Minotaur. Nice. Cut, cut him. That cuts down a lot. Mm. It doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, the main thing is that he just wasn't worth the money. <laughs> like, did, something, did he get injured or something? He got injured. He was minus one strength. Mm. And it was just like, I, I don't want to... Don't want to do it, man. Yeah. Man, these fucking. I guess. I guess you can get a lot of money. I was gonna say these mercenaries are expansive. Oh yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I might have to look at. I've got one that's got a a niggling injury, but mm -hmm. so far it hasn't actually hurt his stats or anything. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. Oh. A wizard. A mercenary and a wizard. Yeah. No patrol. We're Nolan. <laughs> and we're patrolling. Oh, start a match. are always scary because I always want to fireball really bad but then sometimes your fireballs don't do anything I mean wizard in general I feel like is overrated yeah wow my f fan factor is higher than yours like your brand new team that makes sense oh yeah yeah totally yeah I was surprised I was that high, much higher than you on team value yeah like, that's kind of weird well, I got some real like good winnings on the last couple games and bought like a new player and a reroll, so mm. that kind of drove me up. Probably that reroll. Plus, I have like thirteen players because I keep oh so many players crushed. <laughs> yeah, I only have eleven. Yeah. But I got a merc for this match, so I have twelve. Yeah, cool. So we'll see how that goes. I wonder if I should cut it down. I don't know. I like having extras for when the, the squishies get stomped out. Yeah, it's not bad for the bashies. <coughs> oh, let's kick. Ooh, deferring, deferring, huh? Yeah. That's how I get all my ties. <laughs> this will be my first kick with an actual kicker. It's very exciting. Man, I kind of like this deep, this alignment they have. They have for me. They have three hobgoblers on the, uh, on the line. Oh, it's interesting. I feel like against elves, it's not a bad idea because of the tackle on my dwarves. Mhm. Mm but we shall see what we shall see. Witch elf. You didn't have the witch elf last time you played you. No, she's new. A V seven strength three. She had a good first game too. And you got two assassins. You have one assassin. We have two assassins. Didn't I like two kill assassins. an assassin last time or something? Is you that might you? have and I re rolled it. Oh. Just, <laughs> what was that? I almost spilled a beer, 
And in the process of picking up the beer, I knocked over another beer that was closed. <laughs> which means that that was good, but at the same time, I can't open that beer for a little while now. Right. Defense. Defensive alignment. Ooh, she's a blodger. What is jump? Yeah, up? she leveled up her first game. Kind of exciting. Oh, free actions. Free action stand up. That's good. Jump up. Yeah, that's a nice one. Good stuff. Uh, that'll that'll work. Cool. Oh, now it doesn't have my three guys. Yeah, we're not going to Superstar. Yeah, Jim Jam Clip Clop. Or actually, Seattle Slough is my big superstar. Seattle Slough is at 47 star player points and four points wow. away from becoming level five. That's awesome. Oh, it is awesome. And he never sits out games for contract negotiation reasons either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, where to? Hmm. Get crazy. Let's get crazy. Oh, great. Uh Oh, really? Is that where the ball's landing? Oh, yeah. Shit. Can you get there on this turn? I can. I absolutely can. Great. Way to go, Blood Bowl. <laughs> they screwed you. Mm-hmm. So, do, 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 do I lose turn one? Fucked up. I mean, what the hell? Like, that screws up the entire fucking game plan for me. I can't even really do anything now. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, I guess. Can you throw blocks? I guess you could probably. I could have thrown some blocks on that turn. I didn't even think. Yeah, that's that. what you're supposed to do on Blitz normally. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I just did the positional stuff. I totally forgot I could throw blocks and dodge away from your linemen. That would have been smart. Oh, so uh, Murdana, new new Blitzer. Uh -huh. Named that because I couldn't get, uh, what was it, Mangelbert Humpershank I was trying to get? <laughs> it said it was an ineligible name. Oh, because it has hump in it? I think it's because it's got hump in it. Weird. I don't, it's not fair, man. Uh, Rolo got Adolf the White Supremacist to be able to get Mangelbert Humpershank. <laughs> Great. That's the thing is that that white supremacy <laughs> joke is like borderline, like it doesn't play unless you know what a white is, and most people don't know what a white is. Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. Mildly inappropriate. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Where should I push this guy? I should push him here. Uh, yes. No! Yep. Dude, Louie... Louie gets knocked the fuck out every single game. Who is that? That's Louis Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Armstrong. I, uh... I need to... I don't know. Every single game starts with him going to the box. Not good. I rolled a zero, then I rolled a one. <laughs> How do you, you can't roll a zero. Yeah, you can if you have modifiers on it. Uh, that's true. It said you rolled a zero and needed a five. Um, <laughs> do I want to re-roll this? Oh, fuck you, ball. That'll work. I wish I could step on his dumb face. <laughs> and now the suspense. Mm -hmm. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to use it. But I won't. It's a 50-50 roll. I probably should have tried to catch it with my Hobgoblin. I'm just so averse to using rerolls on turn one. Yeah, seriously. There's that trusty old stab skill. <laughs> Gotta do it. It's free.
What did George Jr. ever do to you, man? <laughs> he was standing too close. Don't close stand. <laughs> Don't stand so. Don't stand so close to me. I like this on the field vision. You can really see the tails wag. Never realized the chaos, the the chaos. Uh, uh, whatever these guys are, bull centaurs. Their tails wag <laughs> when they get excited. Nice. Oh, I can eat. Okay, interesting. <sighs> I don't really feel like the kickoff table adds fun to the game. No, like, I... It just yeah. adds a dice roll on a random bullshit thing that happens for one team. More often than not, it's just upsetting for someone. Yeah, and it's like, oh, well, I really could have done something to prevent that. No, nope, <laughs> just, just a die roll. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That was not the path I meant to take, but that's okay. See if I get punished for trying for the quick score. I mean, I would normally just give it to you, but like, I gotta try and. Like, that really screws up my whole strategy as dwarves. Yeah. You know it, you played dwarves. Oh, yeah, that was like the worst thing was, uh, you know, Levi'd get all these quick scores with uh, skinks, and then you start doing <laughs> trying agility moves to catch up. <laughs> well, yeah, and you're you know you're trying to play. Um, you're trying to get that two-one victory if you're playing dwarves. Right. Nice. 
It's got that sure feet, which makes that a little bit less nerve wracking. Yeah. Yep, I think I'm gonna get punished for. Well, we'll see. Not protecting the ball. We'll see. There's a good chance to get a double push here, which is great for you. That yeah. works too. There it is. Where is the ball gonna go? Out of bounds. Ooh. Okay, that's a little better. Nice. That's a little better. Too. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Got, do you have a, a pot, apothecary? Mick, I do, but he's my kicker. I mean, he could, he should just be kind of squishy. I think I'm fractured missing. skull is just miss one game, if I'm not mistaken. It's lose a point in armor value. Well, shit, never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save it in case someone dies. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we're trying to put together like a list of what we really like about Blood Bowl and what we don't like about Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl? <laughs> I think kickoff table is one of the things on the con list. It's just yeah, a little too random, you know? Oh, yeah. Most other things you can do in like a measured way like you can measure risk right but there's i mean you can get fan factor which helps you in kickoff tables but i don't know it's yeah i mean it's, it's one of those things it's like uh, someone always feels bad Mhm. Mm well you just feel a little slighted you know yeah it's like oh well i guess fuck me then yeah exactly <laughs> <sighs> All right. Are we playing on the ship again? I played on the ship last week. Oh, we are on a ship. Yeah. Yes. That's cool. I like the sauruses with their giant clapper hands. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've never, I've never actually been like this spread out. <laughs> you know, with yeah, the no ball kidding. on the ground. That's interesting. I'm trying to think if there's a way to serve someone over on the right side, but hmm. it's weird. You could prop surf that. Hmm. You don't have two blitzes. It almost works. Yeah. Because you could. Well. You could definitely surf that hobgoblin to the line, but then you have no way to get him over the line. Yeah. Yeah, I was spending too much time thinking about it, as <laughs> usual. On the other end, I mean, throwing in the ball also is a completely random thing. 
But for some reason, that seems kind of fun and exciting. That's true. I like that part. Yeah. And, and people get totally screwed on it, but it's kind of equal opportunity. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. guess it's the same as the other thing. I know. It's weird, right? Because it's like completely <laughs> random, but yeah. it's kind of fun. Why does it feel so much better? I don't KO'd? know. KO'd? What the hell are you ringing my bell for, buddy? That's Jackson Pockmark. That's uh, what he gets. For I don't know what. He's named after Jackson. <laughs> That's one thing I do is I name characters after after uh, the player that I played in the game where they got knocked out, or where they where I bought them after. So it's like I got a Rick and Shorty here for Rick. I got Jackson Pockmark. I got J Dog <laughs> for George for Jesse. <laughs> Fart Frejole Jr. is just a funny name. Yeah, that's a great name. I thought you would have liked Mangelbert Humpershank. I was excited. <laughs> that to was like, pretty good, man. You with that one. Well, it took me a second to under to get the reference, but yeah, it's a weird one. Now I got it. So, oh, that was one thing that we were going to propose for next season is to do one minute shorter turns. Oh, but I yeah. think that kind of only affects you, so. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's called the Mars rule. I like it, though. I mean, I like that, you know, <laughs> that I'm having an effect on the, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing the crap out of Hearthstone, where you watch, like, any good player, and they're roping out every turn. It's like, yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, let's just go over here. I don't know. Speaking of roping out, man, two seconds on the clock there. I uh, yield the remainder of my time to the gentleman. <laughs> the gentleman from Nebraska. <laughs> All right. I watched a two and a half hour uh, Hearthstone match today. Yikes. I mean, I came in, when I came in, actually, the, um, I think it was 3-0. The the tournament they're doing right now, you gotta you gotta you bring five decks. Your opponent bans one, mm -hmm. and you gotta win with every other deck. You That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a really cool format. Um, but it was like, yeah, just nobody could win with Dragon Priest. So every single game had a Dragon Priest deck, and those are kind of slow. So it was just like lots of thinking, lots of like intense resource management. Yeah, took ever. <clears throat> Pretty cool match, though. <sighs> Lenny, get out of there! <laughs> Lenny's the other guy that always goes down. I don't know why I have him up there. That's stupid. Ah. <sighs> Oh, fuck you, sure hands! <laughs> what the hell, dude? How many times have I missed 250-50? That's a 75% roll. That's a 75% roll. Yep. I rolled, oh. <laughs> I rolled a three on my last stab on a guy with seven armor. I cannot get a stab in on this guy. I think that you might be able to score here. I probably should have used my wizard. Shit! I don't think there's any way I'm scoring. Well, I guess if I... You could totally score. If I blitzed through Jord and then ran around, picked it up, and dodged away. Yep. Yeah, that would totally work, actually. Let's see. She's got seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... <laughs> Go for it, go for it. No, that's dangerous. Yeah, that's another kind of unfun. I'm going to put that in the con list for Blood Bowl is you can't pick up the ball when it's just sitting there on the ground. Nobody's around it. Mm -hmm. Just sitting there on the ground. I mean, I can understand like in an NFL game, if there's a fumble, it's very hard to pick it up. But that, the ball's moving in that case. And you have other guys yeah. who are just trying to destroy you in the process. <laughs> if the ball's just sitting on the ground... A guy with 
47 star player points should probably be able to just kneel down and pick it up. Yeah, right? <laughs> Although, something tells me that the guys who invented Blood Bowl did not watch a lot of football. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, they're probably British, right? They're Games Workshop guys. Oh, is it British? I don't know. Games Workshop is British. Can't dodge into that. Yeah, I mean it'd be tricky. You gotta dodge into it. Well, no. So you could block, knock out. You could knock out George Jr. Then you could just run up. You'd have to blitz. In, you could blitz the dwarf to get in there. Would that still be a dodge in? That would still be a dodge in, or maybe. Yeah. Or would it? Yeah, it would still be a dodge in. I mean, I could I could make it real hard to get to her if I I could do the dodge out and not quite score but still be close. Yeah. Or I could double go for it with Lenny and hand it off. Uh-huh. Either way, it's not a high likelihood. Double go for it with Lenny. Oh yeah, so you run Lenny to the end zone and then you would hand it off to him. Yeah. I'm gonna do this and oh come on. Well, that's all right. A push will. Yeah, you can push. She's got dodge, so that's the good news. Yes, but, um, wait, does tack tackle only affects dice rolls? I have to get one... Uh, I have to get no, one, yeah, he's, uh, done. you're not allowed to use your dodge skill if, as long as Fart Frejole is standing there. Right. Because he's got tackle. Oh. oh. Right. Which means I need to dodge... Dodge, blitz through fart free holy. Yeah. Let's get crazy. I'm gonna push him into it and see if uh, it goes where I want it. No, that was a bad idea. Well, you do have frenzy though. It's true. I'm gonna choose this one. You did totally Mars this turn up. <laughs> Six seconds. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I thought I was just waiting for you. Yeah, I think the clock stops when I'm selecting, though. Fuck! Go, 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 go dodge! Go! Go! Oh. oh my lord Jesus, dude. I have no idea. Oh. That was stressful. I shouldn't have said anything about the time. Yeah. I'm like sitting there going, why isn't he picking a square? Oh, right, that's shit. That's me. Yeah, that doesn't take time, though. When I when I think the clock stops when I'm choosing. Yeah, it stopped when you cho chose, and then I let seven seconds roll before I realized. <sighs> this really fucking sucks. Okay. So I have five turns. Or no, I have... Do I have five turns or four turns? I think I have five turns. So I lose a kickoff table, lose the ball, and then lose a 75% pickup chance. And then that's it. And I lose the game. Excellent design! Precision! Lenny is kicking now. I'm still kind of shocked I got that touchdown. That was uh, not a high likelihood. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, you were thinking the same thing. Yeah, that must have felt really good. <laughs> Wonder what that feels like to get dice to do what you want them to. Oh, he picked it up. Hey, hey guys, hey. ladies and gentlemen, he picked up the ball. <laughs> he did it. He told you he was going to do it, and he fucking did it. He did it, people. Look at these fucking sources up here. They know what's going on. Wearing the red hats. Uh... Surehand. Oh, sure hands, but he's got two agility. That's why he had a hard time with that. It's still a, it's still a four plus. Or it might be a three plus. Let's see here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Two, it should be a five plus with two, right? No, because you get just plus one for just picking it up, for just trying to pick up unopposed. Oh, with the sure hands? Yeah. Gotcha. So it is. It's a 50 50 die roll twice. So it's a 75% oh, yeah. chance of success. Yeah, so that was bullshit. Yeah. No, it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah. It is to be expected. I am the I am the king of losing fifty fifty die rolls. <laughs> I could do it like no one else. And I'm also really good at rolling double push, which is a super effective way to win games. I love that about you. I know. Oh there we go. There's there a thing go. that happened. <laughs> oh no, it's Louis Armstrong. Oh there he is. <laughs> <laughs> that can't that can't be a coincidence. I gotta stop putting him on the line, man. At this point. That cannot be a coincidence. <laughs> what the hell? So predictable. It's sometimes even if it's not like even if there's not a reason for it, you just gotta gotta take the player off your roster. <laughs> like it's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem, guys. This is becoming a problem. <laughs> It's becoming an issue. So in retrospect, I should have used my wizard on the witch, but at the same time, you could have done that with Lenny Stabitz, too. It just would have been harder, right? Uh, sorry, I spaced out. Yeah, Lenny Please Stabitz. Yeah, it would have been. It would have been a lot harder with Lenny Stabitz. Oh, I, yeah. I don't think it's possible with him because he he has one uh, less movement allowance. Yeah. So I guess I should have used the wizard on her. And she's the one that has the dodge. Like, that was a... Uh, that's a tough dodge into a tackle zone, even mm -hmm. if it's just one person. I still don't think she could have used her dodge skill because the, the dwarf was still there. No, that's why, I blitzed, that's why I blitzed the dwarf because I knocked him down before I had... Oh, you knocked dodge. him down on the second one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's true because the first one didn't No, 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 you did knock him down on the second one. I chose the second one. I chose push. So you still dodged away from him without using your dodge skill. You dodged away from the K from the bull centaur using your dodge skill. Oh right, but you don't. But the dodge is easy. Oh shit, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> I should have fucking been doing this the whole time. By the way, you only had four <laughs> seconds left. I shouldn't have said a goddamn thing. <laughs> uh, well done, God. sir. Well done. <laughs> I mean, can we just give it to Levi? Is this do we even is this is it all just futile? This whole thing. I know, right? Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, Mars, we're just down here. We're the plebs. We're just clawing over scraps. 
you know? Seriously. The king is up there just laughing at us. Well, in every win, he gets, like, three scores, too. It's not mm -hmm. like, I mean, you could... Oh, yeah. That's theoretically in the win-loss ratio, but you're not going to... Well, and the other thing is every one of his skinks is, like, level four. And they all have, like, block. <laughs> <laughs> So he's thinking, when I played him, like, four skinks came over and just fucking destroyed my bull centaur. And I was like, this is bullshit. Yeah. Bull centaur needs to destroy skink. You know what's great, too? He, he, one of them, even, like, one of his best skinks it has uh, reduced armor. He's armor six, right? I stabbed that guy, like, seven times. All you gotta do is beat the armor roll. I rolled, like, fives every time. With two dice. Wow. I, I could not beat six armor on this guy and it just man my dice against levi are shit every time double push pushing twice double push pushing it's definitely twice. not that he's good i'm blaming the dice no he's not good he's definitely not good no he's terrible we wouldn't even be having this conversation if he was competent the worst that's the thing man it's like losing to a first grader exactly it's just so much more painful. <laughs> it's, just, it's humiliating, really. <laughs> oh, this game is redonk. This is the most redonk game. I can't believe I have to kick off to you in the second half. <laughs> hope I have a few players left. I got two out already. I mean, that's the, that's the goal here, but you're playing keep away from me. Yeah. I want to smash you so bad. <laughs> I want to play smashy smashy. Hmm. Dude. Hmm. Big snake skin. I forgot about him. <laughs> it is a great name. Oh, everybody's got to dodge to do anything. Shit. Which is good. <laughs> I got the whole. I got the whole fucking gang here, dude. I got the whole tour bus. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We're going streaking! <laughs> I'm just going to focus on this beautiful little seagull. I'm not even going to watch <laughs> what you're doing. The seagull animations are so fucking boss, dude. I mean, I know we rip on the graphics in this game, but... Seagulls are on point. <laughs> There's seagulls in this game? Yeah, they're on. The, they're standing on the on the, the fifty yard line. Never seen them. <sighs> Renog Stone Ghost. Do 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 do. Do li dee dee. Hmm. Let's try that. Yeah, I thought that might pro would probably happen. Oh, come on. <laughs> 
Uh, I want to hit him again. You frenzy? You got frenzy on that guy? Oh, if you have no, yeah, no, no, the block. Kelly, Kelly nah. Clarkson needs point. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> That's my favorite one, dude. That's my favorite <laughs> one. Because it doesn't... When you say it, it doesn't sound like a pun. I was like, oh, did you... It would actually be kind of funnier if you just had one player on your team named Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> like, yeah, that's just Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. America's, America's Idol. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. Ugh. David Bowie Knife hasn't done shit all season. <laughs> Oh, come on. You're not going to level up that way. That's okay. That's okay. adult prom in Marysville the other day uh huh and I totally did like half a verse of or half a chorus of time after time in one of my solos and nobody even noticed blam 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 yeah I can hear it It worked. It totally worked, too. I think it worked too well. I need I need to, you know, like, if you were going to really pull off something like that, you need to just play it in a whole different key than the actual song. Then it's obvious. <laughs> yes. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was coming. Oh. I knew it was coming. <laughs> what? Why is that one die roll? Oh, because he's strength four. Fuck that shit, Lenny Stabitz. Yeah. Strength four? What do you think this that, is? Man. Those guys are squishy. <laughs> what do you think this is? Hmm. Kind of losing track of what I'm trying to do here. Ah, oh, there we go. Coming Was at you with the hobgoblin. Was there a fight for LA senior? God, yes, there was. All of my juniors had a had a senior at one point. Okay. Yeah, I think there's George Jr. and there's Fart Frejole Jr. Shit, sure feet. Shit, sure feet. I need friends. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I fuck. I knew that was gonna happen. <sighs> Both my bull centaurs rolled a one on their first go for it roll. Grand job, centaurs. Grand oh, job. Yeah. Grand job. So that means on this turn, in, on this turn alone, I have rolled a one on a go for it roll three times. So fuck it, I'm gonna roll it one more time. Let's see it. 
Let's see it. Come on, game. Come on, game. You know you want to. Come on. Aw, oh, you didn't have the guts, did you? You didn't have the guts to do it four times, did you? Game. Oh, no. What? Uh, okay. I did not mean to do it on that space, but... To each his own, wizard. This makes me nervous. It's a wave of mutilation, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? There's another five. I rolled nothing but fives up. I, you, I rolled a three last time. But... You get a plus two on that roll? Or no, is that the two no. dice? So you rolled a three and a two? You just have to beat armor. Wow. If I if I got an eight or better, you can But I never do. Oh shit, and I probably should have dodged out with him because I'm going to need... I can't cover the sides. That's bad. Does that take his turn? Uh, no. yeah. And he can't move after. He can't move after he stabs? Nah. Hmm. Never. That's why you don't always stab. Seventy five percent pickup. Hmm. Oh, do I wanna blitz someone? I don't think I want to this time. Balrog. Come on, Kelly Clarkson. Get you some star player points. Oh. Going after the Hobgoblin. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. go in there to help clog the hole that hole freaking shorty he's going out for a pass <laughs> yeah <laughs>
Use your feet again? Use your feet again. <sighs> There it is. Lenny, no! Smash that hand. Are you just... You're, not, you're, wait, you're waiting for death to use your apothecary? Yeah. All right. Or like, or like injuries that would make the player unplayable, basically. I can respect that. I've got two assassins. Like, I can deal with that with one less for a game, but... I don't want to have to scrap one. All right. Okay, you got what? One more chance? Yep. One more chance in the pants dance. So where did you kick that ball? Did you did you try to kick that ball close to the line? Oh yeah. Okay. I kicked it at I think I kicked it at one of your linemen or something. Mm-hmm. I tried to kick it somewhere where it would bounce awkwardly and I might have a chance to recover it. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. I mean it definitely worked out. Yeah. And your guy had kick, right? Kick ah. Yeah, that was McDagger with kick. Just I just got him that recently, and then usually he dies like real early on, or I mean gets injured. <laughs> just what he does. This is how we do it. Oh, that's not an easy dodge. Okay. If you score through that, you earned it. Okay.
Oh no. What? Nothing. Saw something I missed. The uh, Kona. Yeah, but I don't pass the ball. Oh, I guess I yeah. could run it to him and then he could. Oh. You could hand it off, but it's not. I mean, there's only three agility, so it's not like high likelihood. It's just. I could have had Grandmaster Slash a little closer to him to help screen that off, so he would have had to run a more awkward route. Yeah. All right, let's see if it works. Well, you got the handoff, so you just need to double go for it now. With a reroll. Fuck. Oh. No, you <laughs> fucking game! Oh, no. Uh, you got fucked. On the plus side... There's no fucking plus side, dude. I just lost. I just lost on a 1 in 36. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, who needs points? This game fucking sucks, dude. I don't know, man. I, fl I played this game for a long time, and I fucking s stumped for this game that this game is really fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, fuck this game, dude. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no level of strategy that fucking... It's just literally like, fuck you dice rolls. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't know how many fucking times I gotta lose games to the fucking bullshit like this. <laughs> nice blood ball. Yep, that's the fucking game. It was designed that way. <laughs> you got a personnel advantage at least. I'm gonna make him a drink doing cinematics. I think that fucking this game is just not fucking fun. I don't know what's fun about this game. It's fun when you're winning. I guess so. I wouldn't fucking know. Sound like me against Rolo last week. Dude, this is me every fucking week, man. This is every week. Every week it's the same bullshit. Kickoff table fucks me. Fucking single roll fucks me. Yeah, you know, actually, you're the only person I've had the kickoff table go my way for against. Yeah, twice. 
Every other time, it, it gives my opponent whatever they need. Twice in a big fucking way. Last time we played, it let you tie up the game. Yeah, it knocked out like, what, two thirds of your players? Mm hmm. to be where where's it? oh no where's the cut why does it move I'm looking forward to switching to the new one because it keeps moving your players around from where you put them yeah yeah the interface on the kickoff table is buggy it's pretty crap. Well, it's the shittiest when, like, you don't actually get a player on the field. When it just, like, right. makes an eligible player disappear and then they reappear randomly somewhere. Oh, that's the worst. That, yeah. I mean, it happened to Levi in my game, so I didn't feel bad for him, but... His Saurus was, like, out. Yes. If it happens to Levi, that's... The, that's no, mm -hmm. not a bug. Turn the tide, guys. Changed my mind. She levels. Is that worth a reroll? I mean, you got the lead and the ball. I would do it. I mean, it is a turn one reroll, but you're in a pretty good spot. That's true. I would, I would probably reroll that if I were you, but that's just me. I usually try to save them for, uh, you know, when I need something to go right, but like desperately, but. I mean, you still have two of them. Like I said, you you have the ball, you have the lead. Yeah, as long as I protect the ball, I'm golden. 
That's a good point. You're okay. Do I want to move gank up? Yeah. Yeah, this is how we do it stuck in my head. So, thank you, actually. I like mm -hmm. this one. This is how we lose it. Do -do 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 -do. For those counting at home, that's the fourth time Surefeet has been triggered in this game. <laughs> going to take me out of it, I think. So I guess I'm going to Gananga Gap next season. <laughs> this be my f fourth loss? I should have blitzed with him.
Sure. Oh, did you re-roll that? Yeah. Nice. I need him on the field. Yeah, no kidding. I was going to try to dodge through there, but I can't because yeah, I still got him. Um, now, I guess she goes here. Sorry it takes so long. Man, I feel bad about that. It's alright. I don't feel that bad, but... Yeah, it's not a big deal. I do like I do like the idea of a three-minute roll, actually. I think it'll... Well, you know, it just speeds up the games a little. It makes it a little easier to accommodate in the schedule. Yeah. Makes it a little more exciting, too. I'm sure this, the uh, the people watching the stream would enjoy, you know, a minute less of deliberation. I think we have two people that are not you and me watching this stream. Nice. So, <laughs> you know, we got a flood, man. Yeah. We're getting there. Wave of mute. Fuck it. I got nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> Wave of mutilation. Nice. Try to tie you up here, I guess. Not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I got four re-rolls. Re yeah, of course. <laughs> Why not? Why not? There's there's a, another one out of 36. <laughs> Doing it big tonight, guys. Actually hit him. Um, oh, he's got block. Yeah, right. I don't even think it. The luck, man. The luck just isn't here today. Like, even at Rolo's game, he had, like, the worst first half of, that was ever possible and then turned around for him at one point. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I do...
jam. What's he got? Six, one, two, okay. But yeah, he's got some got some range on him. Yeah, he could go up to nine with three go for it. Now I'm doing the, the Jesse strategy sideways. David, get up. Run away. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click through the rest of my turn, so you can go ahead and score or whatever. <laughs> I'm fucking done with this game. <laughs> it's three, one, and 36s. Yep. I mean, I'm, I'm fucking... Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with this game? <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to spend an hour and a half getting fucking dice shoved up my ass. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, you could have moved Jim Jam Clip Clop first, but, like, you can't screen anything off with a bunch yeah, of Yeah, you got four guys there. It doesn't matter. I mean, my only hope there was that I could hit you, knock you sideways, put the ball into the crowd, and hopefully it lands on my side of the field. It was yeah. the only thing that I could possibly do there. Yeah. So. Ugh, that's rough.
Sure feet again. <laughs> there it is. That's what I needed Jeez. it. You're, you're lucky with the dice. Mm-hmm. I am. Look at this. Turns out. This is me. Um, uh, don't put Beyonce up there. So when did you first start to hate Blood Bowl? <laughs> what is today? I mean, so this is the first time, but this is the first time where I fucking have become disillusioned with this fucking game. Yeah, I well. I use I always come back to it and with with hopes and dreams and it crushes you every time. Yeah, I mean it'd be cool if like you know I didn't just randomly lose based on fucking cubes bouncing across a fucking table. <laughs> Like, if I, I would have been able to score there on turn 8, I would have at least had a shot at a tie. Yeah. I've really come to enjoy it as a... Uh, something to look forward to when I, when I realize the Seahawks are about to lose for the last time <laughs> this season. Now I need something to look forward to when I realize I have no chance of beating Levi. Yeah, but I mean, you're just trying to beat Mars at this point, and this win's going to get you a long way toward doing that. Like, this is the other kind of crushing thing about this, is this was really like a must-win game for me. And I felt pretty good going into it, because I felt mm -hmm. like I had a good strategy, and then it got screwed up on turn one. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. So now I'm pretty much. I mean, I could I could have taken a tie here, but I really can't take a loss. That really much put that really pretty much puts me out of the playoff picture. All uh, right. And we're on game seven, I think. I still have five more games to play. Yikes. Yeah, it's just disheartening. Yeah, I lost my last two pretty brutally. I mean, I, I guess it wasn't like. Terrible. It was just, yeah, two games in a row where I felt like, what the fuck can I do? <sighs> Are you playing uh, Hearthstone all these days? Because I've been playing the crap out of Hearthstone. I've not been playing recently. I played a little bit after Gadgetan came out and then haven't really touched it since. So it's probably been a few weeks since I haven't played. And I know the new ones, the new expansion's coming out soon, right? Yeah, like uh, mid-April, early to mid-April, and they're already giving packs. Like if you log in and play the Tavern Brawls, uh -huh. you'll rack up some, some packs that can be open when the expansion releases. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way... Th my favorite release was um, Old Gods because of the way they... Um, you know, they gave everybody a Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like they did a good that job was... g getting people up and playing with old gods, and I liked the old god set a lot. I mean, well, it's, most... yeah. it was really like new player friendly, I think, because you get an old god and then you kind of have a strategy, so it helps you totally. build a deck. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, and that was like when I was starting. The only thing I was bummed about was uh, 
Nax Ramus went away, and I really like the adventures. And I I like the adventures a lot. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they're not doing any adventures this year. Well, and I um, they're gonna do some PVE. I think what they're doing is they're basically doing adventures, but they're mm -hmm. not required to get cards anymore. Oh. So, yeah. So, like, I think it's meant to be more new player friendly that way because you don't have to burn a bunch of gold to... Oh, so they're going to be free? Cards. They're going to be free, but they don't get you cards. Huh. It's, I, so it's... Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I think I don't think they're actually for anything. I mean, maybe it'll make some... They haven't really released details on what they're going to... Maybe they'll, like, give you a card back or something, but... We haven't really said yet. But I was really bummed when I realized I couldn't do Nax Ramus anymore because, like, you know, like, all the adventures are all um, wild. Like, everything's fair game, and I want some of those cards, but there's no way I'm going to craft them. Yeah. Gonna, like, most yeah, play. especially for wild. I mean, I, I don't play wild at all. No, I mean, you have to have a... You'd have to be, like... It, it makes sense if you've been playing from... From early on, actually, Wild well, is about to get way better. I have played Wild from. Er I've played every set. Um, mm -hmm. The only adventure I didn't do was. Which one didn't I do? Maybe I didn't do Black Rock. I think I did do Black Rock though. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, I've been playing since the beginning. It's just that I don't. I've been playing casually, so I haven't been like co collecting all of the. Badass cards, and I don't know. I have just, I just haven't touched Wild because I feel like it's like, uh, you know, I feel like it's like magic, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like you don't even touch the guys who are trying to play, the, uh, the you know full expanse decks because their decks are worth like you know in Magic they're worth like hundreds of dollars and they have oh, like this obscure it. card from like Ice Age and them and all this stuff. That's what I've liked about this game is like for being mostly free to play. Mm -hmm. Um, I like I think I spent twenty bucks on classic packs once when I was drunk. <laughs> and yeah, you could do a lot the, with uh, that game without spending money. Yeah, it's fairly I'm, easy to grind if you really want some cash. Pack. Like rank ten's pretty good, you know. You made it to rank ten. Just once when uh, when the discard lock started to become a thing, uh huh. And I was just playing the crap out of it and like really enjoying it. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I think it's pretty high up, you know, for, for yeah. freedom player. Especially. That's super high. Well, I mean, that's my other thing is that I have I don't do net decks, mm -hmm. which I feel like is what's definitely holding me back. But it's just like. I don't know. There's something about not trying to figure it out by yourself. I, I don't get very far, but I, I kind of like that challenge. Yeah, me too. I, I, I net deck, like, like right now, I've been doing some, you know, like the, the decks that, like, everyone's playing that's just crushing everything. Right. And I realize all the good decks right now, like, I don't have some of the key cards, but I can make a pretty good version and still have some fun with it. Mm-hmm. Um... But it's like at the end of the, you know, before the next expansion when I'm starting to get bored with, like, what what I've got. Um, but I still am, like, taking in decks that, you know, like, one of my favorite decks is a Summoner Priest deck that I made up. It's mm -hmm. just basically, like, it's got summoning stones. It's got a bunch of shit where, like, if your opponent leaves this stuff on the board, suddenly you can build a massive board and it's really fun and there's a lot of randomness to it. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I have this mage deck that I really like that's, like, mostly spells. Mm hmm And it's just kind of, like, all the mage spells. But then it's got, like, uh, the prince... What's his name? Prince... Is it Malthazar from... From, uh... Get, uh, from, uh... Karazhan? Oh, yeah. Um, um... um Medivh. Medivh, yeah. So, like, you can... You know, you can like uh, turn your cards, turn your spells into creatures, which is cool. Um, you know, I like to mess around with it. Yeah, that's what I love is, is you, you get that you get that weapon out, 
and control something for 10 mana. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's awesome doing minutes. that and then dropping a, 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 a flame strike mm -hmm. and then getting a 7 cost creature. It's like, that's... So you do a board clear plus a 7 cost creature. That's fun. I did one of those once and it was like late at night and the, and the match was so weird. I ended up being like being like a uh, person that we played with, you know, it was like just the weirdest randomness. I think I summoned I had a summoning stone and Medivh's weapon. Uh-huh. Out of all the random things that you could summon for a 6 cost, I, I like entombed one of his minions and summoned two uh huh. So then, every turn, every card goes down by two costs. So yeah, it's just like just fun randomness. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely that. I think it's what Johnny is the archetype for Magic players, but it's like the type of player who just tries to do like creative stuff. That's what I like. It's like find like creative combos and stuff. I'm not necessarily trying to dominate every match. Totally. <clears throat> Yeah, there's something about like doing something no one else is doing and winning with it. It makes you feel super smart. <laughs> That's totally my like my motivation for a lot of things in life. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Um <laughs> I don't know what I'm so upset about. <laughs> no okay. <laughs> Actually helps you. How'd you help me? That, oh, with the guitar playing? No, that helps you because having that guy there blocks my path. Oh, you're Do -do -do -do. right. You're right. That's totally why I did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know.
Do, 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 do. Oh, have you heard about this music festival that uh, Paul Allen's? Uh... Yeah, down at is it at CenturyLink? Yeah. yeah. You know they're doing Warp Tour at CenturyLink this year. Are they? Yeah. It's gonna be is like in summer? Seattle. That's... It's really weird. It was. It was at uh, the Gorge. One. Yeah, it's like, generally at the Gorge. I think it's been at White River Amphitheater as okay. well. That place is cool. Have you played the there? That was like the most surreal day of my musical career. Why? Well, because I jammed with Willie Nelson and ate lunch next to Jesse Jackson and <laughs> Neil Young. <laughs> Great. Uh... Yeah, it was it was weird. It was the whole thing was weird. The whole way it happened was I had a conversation with someone who gave me a card, and then she came back and yelled at me during my set break. I was just playing a gig. She Why'd she yell me, at you? She came back all drunk and yelled at me, and then I forgot all about it. And then the next day, I was looking through my. Uh, Why'd she yell at wallet. you? I don't know. What she said, I had done nothing for her in a thick Eastern European accent. What? Why? Why did she give you her card? I. She gave me a card, so I found it later. I was just like, "Oh, there's too many cards in my wallet. I gotta clean it out." Like the next day, all hungover, totally forgot about the night before. And uh, there's this card that says, "Call Pete." Sure. Call so Peter. Peach. Okay. His name was Peach. So yeah, I called Peach and then ended up with this no-pay gig where we jammed with Willie Nelson. It was for Farm Aid. Oh, wow. It's like the most random thing ever, you know? <laughs> um, That's really yeah. cool, though. Yeah, yeah when I was, was cool. When I was in Austin, they had, like, Willie Nelson t-shirts everywhere. Rad. The town loves Willie Nelson. Oh, man. Uh... Watch the enthusiasm slowly drain from Eric's body. <laughs> <laughs> Until he becomes a banana peel. But yeah, it was just this random thing. Like, I didn't really remember the conversation that led up to it. I just, like, ended up with this weird no-pay gig. And we played with Willie, and it was cool. Cool, and... Yeah, it was really one of the weirdest days of my life, for sure. <laughs> did you ever... Did you get was... to talk to him or anything, or...? Yeah, I did. He was uh, a little out of it. Uh-huh. He was super friendly. Um, you know, it was like uh, weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give him a CD because we. I was playing in a funk band at the time. We were covering uh, "You're Always on My Mind," which is not one of his tunes, but it's a tune right. that he, you know, made famous. Made famous, yeah. Um. Gave him the CD, and he tried to sign it because he thought it was one of his. Um, and then I was like, "No, no, it's a gift." And he was like, "Oh!" And then he turned to a guy who I had noticed previously, <laughs> who was standing behind him, with a CDs, box sets, like this dirty, you know, gifts from other music. Yeah. He was literally just there to carry all the shit that people were giving to Willie. I didn't even realize until that moment. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, Willie funny. Nelson has to have a CD guy. <laughs> Not for his retirement fund, for his CDs. Yeah. <laughs> for all the... Check out my band, Willie. Because mm -hmm. they hope that somehow the fame will rub off on them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm sure it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was nice. He was gracious. He seemed a little spacey and high, you know. Yeah. Friendly dude. Well, he's Willie fucking Nelson, man. I know, right? He's William Nelson. Lord Nelson. The, the funny part of the whole thing was when John. No Cougar follow up there. Up. Interesting. Hmm. Why you no follow? No follow? Yeah. Oh, because I'm just trying to screen you off, pretty much. Yeah. I guess if you get Grandmaster Slash, you might be able to get it. Yeah, but you, you could have had somebody in it. You could have, he was just standing there. He could have at least been in his tackle zone. Yeah. It's all right. I feel good. You know, about Mars, it. if you keep making mistakes like this, you're not going to win this game. You know. Just letting you know. <laughs> I did it um, in case you need a tiebreaker and, like, the uh, points scored helps you out. <laughs> well, let's I'm see still... here. There are no guarantees. But yeah, so the funny thing was, so I'm backstage and, and uh, Jer it's like Jerry Lee Lewis and Merle Haggard and Steve Earle and like fucking everybody, right? Big names. Wow. And, uh, and everyone's just cool and hanging out, you know, because musicians, like, they're generally like, you know, pretty cool people, I like to think. Yeah. Because I am one. Um. And then John Cougar Mellencamp showed up, and I never saw him. I just got shoved out of the way by this, like, group of security that were like, everybody get the fuck out. Hey! Nice. We did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> See, dude, change that around. With the score on turn eight. Oh, yeah. You know? That's tough. I mean, I know you're going easy on me there, but... No, I was trying. Ugh. I, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get two guys into that lane. I didn't really have a way to do that without yeah. uh, some difficult roles that might have got one of my people killed. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Blood Bowl. Yeah. Well, good game. Yeah. <laughs> was it was it a good game i think i hopefully somebody leveled up here oh good oh, no. another hobgoblin oh no i rolled a two and i re-rolled my winnings and rolled a one wow <laughs> got a minus one fan factor our match was rated <laughs> 18 out of 20, though. Pretty I mean, good rating. I have a couple hundred uh, viewers on Twitch by now with that kind of match. I know. We peaked at 4. 6,000 spectators, uh, the numbers I'm looking at. <laughs> we peaked at 4. <laughs> nice. Dude, I mean, like, 4, I don't think ever, 4 people have ever showed up in my house to watch me play video games. Like, that's pretty <laughs> fucking cool. Like, yeah. maybe 2 or 3. The Not most of it, the last time I played Blood Bowl, I got like eight people, but I think that you get fewer people on Friday night. Yeah. All right, Kona is leveling up. Nice. Dude, I so many times. What? I tried to kill Kona so many times. Like, how many <laughs> times did I stab Kona? Or... I know. <laughs> Which, I Just should give him something down. really random. Kona earned that level, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, he does. I could give. Him, I should give him pass block. Yeah, pass block he moves all the normal rules and skills. There you go. Well, since he seems to be invincible. Mm hmm Announces that one of his I players. I should give Louis Armstrong. Block. Player yeah. must end up in a legal pass block square where he can attempt an interception. So it allows him to try to intercept the ball. Right. Yeah, you get to move three. As long as that would put you, what, within three squares of? Yeah. Lane? I mean, I could also just give him block, which is probably the thing to do. Mm -hmm. 
Smart play fun. or fun play? I got two people out next game. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably playing Levi. <laughs> uh, next week we get we have two weeks in a row where it's full interconference matches. Oh, or no, on. wait. I think next week is a league, a conference match, and then there's two weeks after that. No? Okay. No, wait. Next week's week eight. So, yeah. Yeah, it's interconference matches the next two weeks. Cool. Block or pass block? Right. Is that like a normal... That's like probably a normal thing to do because that way the end of the season is all exciting because you're playing people in your league, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You try to... You try to backload the season with divisional games. Totally. When a player with this skill blocks an opponent with the ball... A push or defender someone will cause the opposing player to drop the ball. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of a cool one. Yeah, I'm going to give him strip ball. I mean, I'm just going to give him something random because it literally took him... He was on my team last season, so it took him this long to get it to level two. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You know what? I, one of the coolest skills in the game has got to be uh, uh, was a hail mary. Mm -hmm. It's basically just a kick. Like it could yeah. ball could end anywhere, but like you can target it. Like it's not like because when you pass, you fuck up the pass, you might just drop it. Yeah. But like hail mary is kind of cool because you kind of at least get it in the zone that you're looking for. Well, and the great thing with hail mary, if I'm not mistaken, is that you can use it to clear the ball. So if I'm pretty sure with with and it's either hail mary or it's another skill, but you can basically make a pass anywhere. So what that means is that like if you're deep in my backfield and I somehow get the ball away from you, I can mm -hmm. pick it up with that dude and then just chuck it to the complete other end of the field. Totally, totally. Which is huge. Maybe I should have taken that if I had it available. I don't know if I had it available or not, but the one time I ever took hail mary was on use mode. Um... And then he immediately was killed. Like, <laughs> Apothecary rerolled to murder. Great. I did get a lot of star player points that time, actually. Nice. Uh, oh, Jackson Pockmark is one point away from leveling up. See, I have this... I have this dilemma, because Louis Armstrong, like, on paper is fine, right? He's, mm -hmm. been, he's just... He just loses. <laughs> he just dies every time. He just gets injured like immediately for no reason every time. All right, I'm gonna and actually out of the pictures, He's the only one. He's the lowest points actually. My brand new um, has played two games. Blitzer has more star player points than he does. Mm -hmm. He's been there <laughs> since the beginning. <laughs> All right, man. All right, well, I'm thanks. Gonna... That was fun. Yep, thanks for playing. I'm gonna stop the stream.